tonight, Seven will challenge Team Bigfoot for the title, Monster Truck of the Millennium. So get set. Monster Trucks 2000. The new millennium. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Earlier today, the legendary Monster Truck Bigfoot was vandalized. Tonight, eight trucks are set to compete in a head-to-head -head single elimination competition on the longest monster truck course in the history of the sport. This is the first time this course has ever been challenged. The winner will earn the title Monster Truck of the Millennium. The parade of trucks is ready to roll, so let's meet the trucks and the participants. Firestone, driven by Eric Tack, and tackle face executioner. With 12-year veteran Mark Hall behind the wheel in the quarters. Monster Patrol is a good one. And the driver who makes it go is Dave Harkey. In the quarters, the patrol faces Boogie Van, driven by Pam Vale, the top woman in the game. Dr. Bones is a mean machine, and Rick Petroline gets the ride. He'll be matched up against Samson, driven by Dan Patrick. Let's meet Scorpion, driven by the very focused Gene Patterson. They'll be racing on an S-track here at Mesa Park. Four turns in all, three jumps, lots of bumps, and before the night's over, some thrilling racing. Believe me, Jerry. I do believe you. And at the starting line right now is fan favorite Firestone and his arch rival, Executioner. Well, Firestone is a quick starter, Executioner is a finisher. So let's get ready for our first matchup in the quarterfinals. Starter girl sends him off. Eric Tack coming around the bat on the right side here. Now Executioner on the inside. Now keep in mind that Tack is one of the few drivers on the circuit who doesn't really care whether he's inside or outside. Doesn't matter to him. Excellent point, Rony. That becomes from all those years of experience. Although Hall has 12 years himself. Here they come now on the outside, Ben. This is wrap two. They'll come around and jump here in a second. And now, Mark Hall, a little too high. You don't like to go that high. Executioner, the only dodge out there tonight. They're coming down the home stretch. Jerry, take us there. All right, Eric Tech on the inside and Firestone. Mark Hall, the Executioner on the outside. This is the final jump across the first line. And Firestone in a walk, Rooney. Didn't even seem like he was on the throttle all night long on that first run, and he did an excellent job. Firestone, our first winner of the evening. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. The videotape that I was telling you about earlier is here, and apparently it's pretty disturbing. All right, thanks, Chef. We've all been busting our DVDs to get a look at this. This is Dan Runty, Dusty and Blanche, and, oh, my God, Rooney. That does not look like Bigfoot, but that's what that is. That's well, Bigfoot. This, this is a sport that has always prided itself on fairness and embodied pure competition. I think at some point we've all heard the phrase in sports that if you don't cheat to win, you simply don't want to win badly enough. Well, I have never subscribed to that credo. I know you never have either, no. Jerry. No. You know why? because it's utter, absolute garbage. I'm here with Big Daddy Kate and Itty Bitty. Now, as owners, are you concerned about the safety of your trucks? Dr. Bonson Scorpion. Well, it's like a death in the family. We should all be concerned. Itty and myself wasted no time getting here. We chartered a plane and got here the second we heard. Not a second to lose. The truck, it was reduced to, to a skeleton. That's why I'm here, to conduct a personal investigation. A personal investigation by Big Daddy. The defacement of Bigfoot is a personal attack on me, the sport, and all the monster truck family. A proud, well-adjusted family. Rest assured, when I am done with my official investigation, the trucks will be flying across the finish line. Vicky Boom, can we get a word with you, please? I'm not answering that. But I didn't ask you anything. Exactly. I came here to race, not to talk. Monster Patrol and Boogie Van square off in our second quarterfinal matchup. Winners of the quarterfinals advance to the semis. They're getting ready, and they're underway. Great start. That starting girl got him going here. Boogie Van on the inside, Monster Patrol on the outside. Monster Patrol, one of the few trucks in the circuit that has that spoiler on the back, Rooney. Well, that's because its owner used to race sprint cars. The spoiler has no aerodynamic function. It just looks good. All right, Boogie Van way out in front of this point. Nice launch. 10,000 pounds coming crashing down there. And saw Dave Harkey. A little rocked it a little bit there, Rooney. You don't like to do that. Well, you can roll these trucks easily. Harkey did in the Astrodome in front of 60,000 people recently. That's right. It was like a day after New Year's. I remember that. And down the stretch they come. 20,000 pounds of hunk tonka The final jump, Monster Patrol way out in front. Strong run by Harkey and the Monster Patrol. They gotta really like this run, Rooney. Well, remember, this is single elimination, so Team Vale is done for the night while Monster Patrol moves on. 
and certainly one of history's greatest heroes, Samson, is looking to become the first to capture the title, Monster Truck of the Millennium. We'll be back with our third quarterfinal matchup next. Stay with us! All right, starter girls got him up. On the left is Samson. On the right, Dr. Bones with those big teeth. A little bit floss is running. And they're off. Two Fords going out of here. They come around the back. Dr. Bones with an early start. And they get ready for that first jump. Coming over that jump with 10,000 pounds of truck. It's like having sex and being in a car wreck at the same time, Rudy. Yeah, how would you know about that? I've been in a few car wrecks along the way. And they come again, second jump. Dr. Bones, good start. Those tires are like 1,800 bucks a piece, Rooney. They have to be very durable, obviously, to take this pounding. Again, I keep saying it, but 10,000 pounds, that's what these trucks weigh. Well, Samson certainly being left in the dust right now. And remember another thing about these tires, very interesting. The factory cuts grooves in them, but the driver spent 40 hours at least cutting more grooves. Yeah, well, Samson needs a little more time doing that because Dr. Bones has just put him away. Nice run by Dr. Bones. Excellent run, actually. Ladies and Third quarter final's now over, and we're starting to shape up the night, Rooney. And unless Bigfoot and Dan Runty's team are on their way, Gene Patterson and Scorpion receive a bye. Remember, if he's not in position, he's gone. But, now hold on, folks. There seems to be some sort of commotion over at the park entrance. It appears, yes, it's Big Daddy and Itty Bitty Daddy. I don't know where they're headed, but they're clearly on a mission, Rooney. Well, Big Daddy's carrying a videotape heading to the television truck, and it appears by the glare in Itty Bitty's eyes, and this is breaking stuff. Hey! Play this tape. Daddy has spoken, so play the tape. Well, orders have been given here. Let's see what we got on the TV screen. People of the crime of all time. Of all time. Well, these guys are rabble-rousing. Wait a minute now. This is clearly a surveillance tape, Rooney. There's the time of day and the date, and that's Bigfoot's truck. And, and, and that's Dan Runty. And a sledgehammer in his hand. Disturbing stuff. Uh, all right, well, now I'll ask the question for everybody here tonight, and all of us. Why would the number one monster truck driver do this? Why would he throw it all away? Exhibit B. Exhibit B. Dig this. A multi-million dollar insurance policy taken out by Dan Runty, stating specifically, in case of destruction or desecration of said Bigfoot, one Dan Runty would personally receive the sum of one million dollars immediately as sole beneficiary. Bottom line, if the man can't race, he gets a million. That's a one, followed by six zeros. That's a pile of scratch. Well, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's amazing is what it is. And let me tell you something. I'm ready to take that felon and hang him right over here from that widescreen TV. This is so outrageous. Well, whether or not you get questions and answers, who knows? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Holy Mac of Re Resurrection. I don't believe my eyes. It's Bigfoot, prime, shine, and ready for action. Unbelievable. It's like watching the Titanic rise from its watery grave. Two sisters, two trucks, let's go race. I don't know what that means, but the man is here. Unbelievable, thanks, Jeff. All right, coming up, when we come back, Scorpion and Bigfoot in our last quarterfinal. Okay, here we go, fourth quarterfinal matchup. Bigfoot on the left, Scorpion on the right. Jerry, take it away. This is what racing's all about. Who needs Viagra Rooney? Let's get it on. Good start by both drivers, coming out of the gate. Scorpion on the lead, taking that first bend. Come on the first jump. Steve McGarrett, ride the wave, baby. Hawaii 5 all ride the wave. Big boy now coming down on a second turn. You talked about that methanol jazz fuel. You can smell that as they go by here. It smells like victory for somebody tonight. Look at them go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Never thought we'd see this happen. Each of these trucks with 1,200 horsepower, Jerry. Yeah, you can feel that energy. Here they come now. Turn three, coming around. Bigfoot, slight lead. You really can't tell them they come around that bend. Who's got the lead? And down the stretch they come. Bigfoot, they're going for that final jump. Scorpion, straight out of his tail. Bigfoot, oh, he almost buried the nose. Scorpion, he's lost. Scorpion, he lost it. He's rolling. He's rolling. 10,000 pounds are rolling. Oh, my God, I don't believe it. Well, now, keep in mind that these trucks are designed for safety, and the drivers are belted in securely with all kinds of protective gear. Rarely does anybody get seriously injured, but let's just hope that's the case tonight, that no one's hurt. Yeah, I, there. Wait, there is Gene Patterson. He's okay. He's standing, obviously shaking. Our semi matchups are Firestone to take on Bigfoot at Dr. Bones versus Monster Patrol. Those two are ready to roll right now. All right, starter girl on the line now. We're going to get these two trucks rolling. Monster Patrol on the left, Dr. Bones on the right. Still wonder if he's lost there, Rooney. Starter girl's got him going. Here they come. 
Good strong jumps for both both drivers. Back to Bones, a little too high there, Rooney. A little too high coming out. And remember, this is the semi, so they've moved the course back a little bit. You saw those initial jumps that we didn't have before. Right, excellent point. They're not quite as high as the other ones. Dr. Bones with a good lead coming down now. Boom! See all that truck rising up? The Metro fuel now, you can smell that. Dr. Bones Monster Patrol, semi-final matchup. Here they come now. Back stretch, Rooney. Dr. Bones has the outside lead now. He'll lose that coming into this turn. Down the stretch, they come. Run leap over the finish line. Dr. Bones, good strong race, Rooney. Yeah, it was, and you wonder if what happened in the last race didn't maybe have some kind of impact on Rick Petrolon. Yeah, and to himself, yeah, I'm not going to hit this that hard. I don't want to go over. And Eddie, we seem to have uh, some other people joining uh, in, in the fray here. Guys, I'm, I'm getting out of the way here. It's getting a little tense. The line has been drawn. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, we're going to get to the bottom of this. We will square off. Listen, once you get in the truck and get out of here, well, we've had it. Check this out. Big Daddy wants Ruddy, just like Apollo Creed wanted Rocky. Bigfoot on the left, Eric Tack on the right, and Firestone. Remember, Firestone, he doesn't care which lane he goes in. A little bit of an advantage for him here. He's got him off and running. As you mentioned earlier, Rudy, another 50 yards in these semifinal runs. Both trucks, a little trouble coming off that first ramp. They went back in that time. They're not going to flip that way, but it does slow you down. Two Fords and two friends going at it. Remember, they are teammates. Toe to toe, head to head, show to show here, baby. We got one, Rudy. We got a show here. Eric Jack and Firestone now in a good lead. Coming off that ramp very strong. They come over that ramp. Like, remember that movie Speed when that bus was flying in the air? Might be a lot of that, baby. Oh, they're neck and neck here. They come. Final stretch now. And down a stretch deck, come, Rudy. Bigfoot. Put that nose in, he's got another victory, but he's got a problem with that last bump, Rooney. And that's what we got coming up. The stage is set. Our final, Dr. Bones, Big Daddy's camp once again, taking on Dan Runty, Blanche, and Dusty. It's the accused versus the accuser. We're going to get it on one more time, this time for the title. Big foot on the left, Dr. Bones on the right. Boom, they're off. Good start by both drivers. Two quick hills right there, only about three and a half feet high. Nothing really to tackle there. And Runty did not handle that last bump well. He's really kind of coming off those very weak. Dr. Bones with a good lead going in the first turn. Good six feet, I'd say. First car ride, nothing special there either from either driver. And again, Runty fishtail out of that back turn. This is stunning. Dr. Bones way out in front. But remember, we are talking about Dan Runty here. Yeah, he's not even supposed to be here at this point. He had no ride to begin the night. Dr. Bones coming out across another bump. Runty's still got a lot of ground to make up. But Rooney. he's making it up, Jerry. Look at him. He is. He's coming in. And he's pulling ahead. Oh, no. Runty, Dr. Bones, here they come. Into the final jump. Runty's coming back. And it looks like you're on me. He got him. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm choking on my own excitement, right? Please take over. Well, take over is just what Dan Runty did tonight. I said earlier during this run, this is why he is who he is, one of the greats of monster truck racing. Willis Reed, 1970, his comeback, Joe Montana at the Super Bowl, and now you can add Dan Runty to the list of great comebacks. That's her baby, and that's the darling of monster truck fans everywhere. Dan Runty, just crowned champion, and Bigfoot, monster truck of the millennium. And that was Monster Trucks 2000, without the fluff. Let's make that quick, because, you know what? I broke my leg. I did it while going to a wrestling camp. So, follow your dreams, even if they hurt. I do. Don't let things get in my way. Anyways, let's do this a little bit quicker. Just because it hurts. 20% quicker? Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Reboot. Anyways, I'm bored. So far, we've saved up 1,523,000,000. 253,773 seconds. That's about 48.3 years. So please like and subscribe so I can save a whole lot more. A world of time. Monster Trucks 2000 is what happens when you merge a monster truck show and wrestling. Man, it's fascinating. I can't think of anything more redneck. And that's great. Maybe if we put some Jerry Springer in there too, just for, you know, for that guy, that one guy with the two girls and her sisters. That's Jerry Springer, right? And this guy right here, he's my favorite. Oh my God, he had so much life. Anyways. How does it fare? Bam! 
With a few edits, we were able to get down from 40 minutes and 28 seconds to 13 minutes and 51 seconds. We cut it down to 34.23% of our original size. We had a compression ratio of uh, 2.92 to 1. We cut up 13 minutes and 51 seconds, 1,597 seconds total, or the equivalent of 17.74 moments. Plus, it took about 22 hours to upscale this, maybe 24 hours total, all the way to 4K. Bam! So, what genre do you want to see mixed with monster trucks next? I'm saying RuPaul would be fabulous. Just imagine that. Just like the monster trucks, they'd be even cooler. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 2,000 subscribers. It honestly puts some ones in my sales. So if you can, please do. Thank you for your time. And well, have a great day. The line has been drawn.